Xander Holt here and welcome to the Rock Hard for Life kitchen. Today I'm going to show you another slow cooker recipe. This one is Vitality Vegetables or Viagra Vegetables because this contains natural PDE5 inhibitors which is the same mechanism that ED drugs use except these are natural and actually healthy for you unlike ED drugs. Uh, which actually end up damaging your biochemicals over time. This actually helps uh, increase those erection biochemicals instead of damaging them. And uh, it's a slow cooker recipe. And the reason I'm teaching these slow cooker recipes is it makes it super easy to get great erection boosting, testosterone boosting meals into your daily life, eating those. So you don't end up you know, getting hungry, going to fast food and that other crap. You can't buy meals like this at restaurants. They're, they're way more healthy for you the way that we are designing them here in the Rock Hard for Life kitchen so that it supports, like I said, your erections and your testosterone. And 15 minutes in the morning, you come home in the evening, you've got a delicious meal. Now, just to let you know though, this is one aspect of the ecosystem. Nutrition is very important and this helps provide the nutrition that you need in order to get those great, rock solid, consistent, long lasting erections. You need nutritional support, but it's just one aspect of the ecosystem. The reason I bring that up is that's the biggest mistake I see guys make is they'll do something like increase their nutrition or they'll increase their exercise or whatever they're doing to try to help with their erections and they're not getting where they wanna go. It's because they don't understand the ecosystem behind the erections. Okay, there's way more going into erections than just nutrition and exercise. But, you know, those are important things. That's why it's important to understand the ecosystem. So just bringing that up to begin with, because if you eat something like this and you don't notice a big difference, the, your, the foundation of your ecosystem is not strong enough. That's why guys need ED drugs, is that foundation is not strong enough, so they need something really strong to punch through to get those erections. Well, instead of doing that, address the ecosystem, then you won't need any of that stuff. All right, so we're gonna do this today. <laughs> Vitality veggies or Viagra veggies, however you wanna think about it. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna, we're gonna take a pound of carrots. These are organic carrots. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna chop these up and put them inside of our uh, instant pot. So with this, you, you just need a slow cooker. You don't need an instant pot. This just has a slow cooker function on it. And you can use the instant pot for all kinds of different things, including, you know, pressure cooking. So for fast meals where you just want it right then. And also, uh, uh, it has an air fryer on it. It's got all kinds of stuff on it. So it's a great investment, but you don't need this necessarily. You do need a slow cooker. If you get like a conventional slow cooker, I do recommend you get one with a timer on it so that um, you, uh, you don't overcook your meals. Because the idea is you come home, I'm cutting the ends of these off. Um, you come home at night and you've got a fresh cooked meal for you, right? It's almost like a, you got a personal chef because you just do this in the morning while you're waking up anyway. And then you come home to a great meal. Okay, but if you don't have a timer on your uh, slow cooker, then when you get home, it's probably gonna be overcooked. Okay, because this one cooks for about six hours, depending on how long you're out of your, your house. But if you have a timer on it, what will happen is it'll cook it, but then it will go into uh, warm mode. So it'll just keep it warm, but it won't keep cooking it. And that's what you want. And that's what this has on it. Okay. So these last two are kind of small. So we're gonna put carrots in. Uh, so I'm gonna chop these up into smaller pieces. I'm gonna get a few of them at a time. And yeah, I think you can see that. So I'm just gonna kind of chop them up into bite-sized pieces. And carrots are a great root vegetable. And root vegetables <clears throat> are really important for our testosterone levels. Uh, good, high quality, carbohydrates in general are, are really important for our testosterone levels. And the problem is, is in our modern society, there is a lot of low quality carbohydrates out there that people are eating all the time, like pasta and bread and all that stuff. 
but uh, you know, so that's not going to help your testosterone. But stuff like this, carrots, root vegetables like beets, you know, turnips or fruits are all excellent for your uh, testosterone levels. So we're going to get some good quality uh, root vegetables in this dish as well as the fact that carrots are great for helping to flush excess estrogen out of your body because of the, the fibrous content inside of them. They're also high in vitamin A. Uh, they also help with nitric oxide production, which is really important for our erections. And that's going to help uh, with the PDE5 inhibitors that are in this as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the Instant Pot or your slow cooker. Okay, so put your carrots in first. All right, now we're gonna move on to some potatoes. Now these are really small gold potatoes. Um, you want uh, small potatoes in this. Or, you know, just cut your potatoes up fairly small so that, that they become, uh, you know, tender as you're cooking them. So I'm gonna put these in here. So I want two pounds of potatoes. So I got my potatoes and I'm gonna go ahead and rinse them off real quick. Okay, and these, these are organic, I believe. If I'm eating the skins, yeah, yeah, these are organic. I, um, I tend to buy organic and you can peel these. I wouldn't recommend it though. Uh, the skins got a lot of good stuff in there for you. I'm just gonna throw them right in as I cut them. The bigger ones you might wanna cut up like this, the smaller ones like this, those will be fine, you know, um, that's probably fine too, but just to make sure they're tender and easy to eat, the bigger ones I cut in half. All right, and potatoes are actually full of nutrients, particularly um, potassium, very high in potassium, and they are great, um, prebiotics for your gut. In fact, this dish is full of prebiotics. It's so really good for your gut. I talk a lot about how important, this is a small one, how important um, gut health is to your erections and your testosterone levels. So if you wanna eat like some probiotics with this, like say some kimchi or some sauerkraut or you know some high quality yogurt, like the El Ruderai yogurt, Really good with this because of these prebiotics. Really great for your gut. And then we're gonna take an onion. Okay, so I may cry a little bit. <laughs> that happens sometimes when I cut these things up. So this is a sweet onion, all right? And a, a nice large one. So uh, first of all, I'm gonna peel it, but what I'm gonna do is keep this bottom portion on, this little hairy portion there on the bottom. I'm gonna cut the top off like so and just start peeling the outside of it off because this stuff, the, the very paperish kind of outside of an onion, you don't want to cook that up. It's going to get too uh, chewy and it's not going to taste right. Now onions are a great testosterone booster in and of themselves. They're also a prebiotic. They're also, they got PDE5 inhibition in them because this has quercetin. Onions have quercetin in them. So quercetin is a powerful natural uh, PDE5, PDE5 inhibitor, just like they have in ED drugs, which help maintain your erections. I'll talk a little bit about that as I cut up this onion. So as we do this, that's why I keep the bottom on, is I like to keep it all as one piece. So I'm gonna slice it down here. There we go. But I don't slice it all the way to the bottom, okay? Almost to the bottom here. So. In your body, you have nitric oxide that gets produced inside the endothelium of your uh, blood vessels. And when that happens, it creates a cascade, a chemical cascade inside the smooth muscles of those vessels, okay? So once that happens, that produces, that, that chemical cascade produces, now I'm gonna go the other way, sorry. We're gonna cross it. So I did it one way, now I'm gonna go the other way. See, yeah, the other direction. So once it's um, got this, once the chemical cascade is done, it produces something called CGMP. 
And CGMP is what causes those blood vessels to open up to actually get the erection. So really important. Uh, let me, I'll finish it, but just hang on one second. So I got all that. Now I'm going to cut down so that it's cubed. See that? Makes it really easy to cube your uh, onions. All right, so uh, anyway, so the CGMP opens it up, but then there's also a chemical in there in your smooth muscle called PDE5. And PDE5 breaks down the CGMP. And once that happens, you lose it. So you, you basically lose your erection because the blood vessels start to constrict again instead of getting, you know, instead of staying open. So that's what PDE5 inhibitors do, is they help block that PDE5 that is inside of the smooth muscle. And that's basically how ED drugs work or in these uh, quercetin that we have in the, the onion. Um, and if you combine that with nitric oxide producers, okay, um, like the carrots we got in here, uh, the onion also helps with the nitric oxide production, and you've got the best of both worlds. You've got a boosting of CGMP and an inhibiting of PDE5. All right, so I've got this basically chopped up here. Let me do a few other little chops and bigger pieces. Great. Okay, now I'm gonna take these delicious onion and put it in. Like I said, it's also, onion is a testosterone booster. They did a study on rats where it gave them onion juice and their testosterone levels just went off the charts. But it's also uh, a good source of iodine. Okay, so iodine is really important because we have iodine receptors in our thyroid gland as well as our testicles. So it's, it's really important for our sexual functioning to have some iodine in our diet. You don't need a ton, but you do need some of it. Now we're gonna put our salt in. So what I like to use is uh, Redmond's Real Salt right here, okay? Really great salt. Uh, it's a natural sea salt. And we're gonna put in one teaspoon Okay, or salt to taste. All right, I put in a little bit more than a teaspoon. Now I'm gonna uh, take a spoon and just stir all this together. All right, nice, good base. Cause this, like I said, well actually I didn't say it, but this one is actually a two step process. The second step is very easy. Uh, the other uh, slow cooker recipes I've shown you, they've been a one step process. This is a two step process but you'll see why it's so easy here in a second. And you'll see why it needs to be a two-step process in just a second. So stir that up just so that you got a good mixture of the salt on the veggies, all right? And then once you've got that, then you're gonna go ahead and um, start to cook it. Okay, because like I said, it's a two-step. So this is the first step. So I'm gonna put on my lid. Okay, now I'm gonna turn on the uh, slow cooker function right here. And I'm gonna set this for six hours. Actually, I'm gonna do it for five and a half. It should cook somewhere, now nah, I'm gonna do six, because I am up in the mountains. Um, if you're a high altitude, you should cook it a little longer. But typically this will cook somewhere from five to six hours uh, for this first step. And uh, so what we're gonna do next is, we're going to um, cut up some asparagus. Now, asparagus is a male superfood. This, this is much higher in the quercetin than the, the onions I put in here. This is really high in quercetin, which is a great PDE5 inhibitor. It's also a great prebiotic for your gut. Um, it is full of vitamin A, K, E, uh, C, I mean, it's full of nutrients that are just great for your overall sexual functioning. Um, so overall uh, erections, testosterone, libido, uh, and just sexual health in general. Asparagus is one of your best. And that's the main, like I said, the main PDE5 inhibitor in here. So what I'm going to take now is I'm going to cut off the... Uh, ends here, just the very, the, the, what they call the woody part. 
here on the very end. So that's pretty um, dense in all the, even though the slow cooker does uh, make it a lot softer, it's still denser than the rest of it. I like to cut, still like to cut that off. So I'm just throwing away the ends of it. And then all you're gonna do is uh, cut it up into two inch pieces. So we'll do that real quick. There we go. And just kind of take a, a group of them and just chop. So about two inch pieces. There we go, that's probably good. And then I'm gonna throw these, actually I'm just gonna put them in the strainer for right now. We got those chopped up, ready to go. Cause those are gonna go in at the end, which I'll explain here in a second. Um, so we got that and then we're going to mix up the rest of our stuff. So we're going to mix up like a sauce that's going to go on it. All right. So in order to do that, first of all, we're going to cut ourselves up some dill, some fresh dill. I've got some fresh dill right here. Hope you can see that. And we're going to cut up a fair amount of this. In fact, I might cut all of this up and see how much I got but as much as six tablespoons of this stuff you can put in. Uh, and dill, once again, man, it's a great overall flavor and is also a really good erection booster. All right, so I'm gonna kind of chop this up into smaller pieces first. Yeah, we're probably gonna use all of that. I'm just curious to see how much that makes. And I got all of this stuff just you know, at my local Kroger. They call it King Supers here in uh, Colorado, the same same company. So if you got just like a, you probably, well, in other words, you probably don't have to go to Whole Foods for any of this stuff if you don't want. All right, so I got this chopped up. Just curious, I'm gonna get my tea, tablespoon, see how much of this it made. Okay, there's one, two, Three. Yeah, it's going to make about four tablespoons. So like I said, up to six, but that four is fine. Okay, or you can even use dried if you can't find uh, fresh dill, but fresh dill is going to taste me way better. It's going to have a really, you know, really pungent dill flavor, which is really good with these veggies. Right, now we're going to add to it um, the oil. So for the oil, you can either use a uh, extra virgin olive oil, 100% pure extra virgin olive oil, or avocado oil. You can even put in coconut oil if you want, or if you're not concerned with it being vegan, you can uh, put in grass-fed butter or uh, ghee. A quarter cup. Um, shoot, I didn't get a cup either. I actually got one right here. There it is, perfect, quarter cup. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put this in Okay, and olive oil is full of polyphenols and it is also a testosterone booster. Excellent, so we'll put that in. And then we're gonna add um, the lemon peel. Uh, you guys have been following me for a while, you know how much I love lemon peel. So I'm gonna take this with our grater and i'm going to grate us off uh, one to two tablespoons of this uh, lemon peel so i'm just going to take it here and, and work it over this bowl now lemon peel not only does it just taste amazing they also call this lemon zest when you're doing this like this but it contains a powerful aromatase inhibitor called hesperidin and that uh, particular aromatase inhibitor, well, what aromatase is, is it's a enzyme that our body makes, particularly if you have excess fat on your body, that in, actually converts, aromatase takes your free testosterone and converts it into estrogen. So we want to block that, particularly if you have excess fat on your body. As you're losing weight, it's really a good idea to block this aromatase. And uh, there's different ways to do it. There's different types. Cruciferous is really good. Uh, mushrooms are good. But so is this lemon peel. And it's going to be delicious in this dish. And that
Okay, good. So yeah, that's making about a tablespoon. Now, just in the essence of time, I'm gonna stop there. Um, I may, after I stop the camera, make me another tablespoon of it, just so it's nice and lemony. Uh, but I'm gonna put that in here. Okay, nice good lemon zest. All right, so next, we're gonna put in the mustard. Now, I'm gonna put in some uh, Dijon mustard, okay, which I think tastes the best in here. But the downside is, is Dijon mustard does have a little sugar in it. So if you're trying to avoid any kind of processed sugar, then I would just go with regular mustard. It tastes good with just regular yellow mustard too, okay? But the amount of sugar we're talking in here is minimal compared to what we're gonna be eating. So it's not, I don't think it's a huge deal personally. So I'm gonna kind of measure out here couple of tablespoons worth of Dijon, put that in, tablespoon. So how this is going to work is we're going to mix this all up into a sauce and that's going to go in at the very end to make it all super delicious. Okay, and mustard, I, I, mustard is my favorite condiment by far. I just love mustard. I eat a lot of it. <laughs> especially the yellow mustard, not so much the Dijon, but it is better, I think, in this particular dish. So, and then we're gonna add a little bit more salt. So we're gonna add another teaspoon of salt into the sauce itself. So I'm gonna put that here, add it on in. And salt, actually, not only for the flavor, but it also helps boost nitric oxide production. So it's really important there. Yep. So we're just gonna mix all this up. And also, the, uh, the high-quality sea salt, like the Redmond sea salt, is got lots of trace minerals in it. You know, just where table salt is highly processed, it only has sodium and chloride in it, which can cause health problems. Sea salt actually provides a lot of trace minerals, over 70 trace minerals inside of uh, sea salt that your body needs. So it provides you those extra things. So. Get rid of the table salt, start using good quality sea salt. I recommend the Redmond sea salt. All right, so now that we got that done, our next thing is going to be that we are going to just let this cook for six hours. And then what I'm gonna do is put in the asparagus at the end for another 20 minutes, because I can't put the asparagus in now because it will just cook it to mush. Right, these, other, these are hard vegetables in here, the uh, potatoes, the carrots, so they take a while. Asparagus doesn't take that long. So we're gonna, like I said, cook it for six hours, then I'm gonna open it up, put the asparagus in, uh, cook it for another 20 minutes, and then at the very end, we're gonna open it up, put the sauce in, and it's good to eat. So I'll see you in, in another six hours. <laughs> okay, it's been six hours. So I'm gonna open this up and add the asparagus. There we go, mmm. Oh, that smells good. So we're gonna take this, pour it in, and then we're just gonna mix it in with the other yummy vegetables. Very good. So once we get this mixed up, all we're gonna do is just set it back up and oops, get it this way. There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set this, go to slow cooker. This time I'm gonna set it instead of low heat to high heat. Okay, now I'm going to set it for 20 minutes. Actually, I'm gonna set it for 22 minutes because I'm up here in the high altitudes. You want a little extra time. Actually, I might even do 23 minutes. And then hit that, and then I'm gonna set the temperature to high instead of low. Okay, boom, got that going, hit start. And uh, in 24 minutes, I'll open this up and uh, stir in a little of the sauce and it'll be ready to go. Okay, it's been 24 minutes, it's perfect. I just ate one of these pieces of uh, asparagus. Mm. So tender, but at the same time, not too mushy. Kind of a nice crispness to it. Now, all you gotta do is just put in the sauce that we made earlier. 
and just stir it in. And you've got a delicious, erection-boosting meal to eat this evening. So I'm just gonna stir that in, get it nice and coated. Okay, there you go. Bon appetit. Enjoy, let me know what you think, post in the comments below, and I will see you in the next slow cooker video. Hey man, I hope you got a ton out of this segment of the erection boosting slow cooker video series, where we are diving deep into fast, simple, and delicious slow cooker recipes that help us restore our birthright of having natural, long-lasting, stage four rock hard erections. If you'd like to get free access to the entire Erection Boosting Slow Cooker video series, make sure you click the link in the description of this video to register for free access to all of these life-changing videos in this series, along with some other surprise bonuses. Also, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and turn on your notifications bell so you get all of the future value-packed videos just like this that I will be releasing for you to help you be the best version of yourself and have natural stage four rock solid performance. I will see you tomorrow in the next erection boosting slow cooker video.